My name is Donna Drummond. I am the principal at Hayden Park Secondary School. It's part of the Toronto District School Board. Um, Hayden Park itself is a very unique school. We, on, we are the only all-girls public high school in Toronto and by my understanding in Ontario. It's um, a really, really vast uh, array of intellectual abilities what walks into this building. What makes us unique is that no matter what the challenge, whether it be intellectual, whether it be social, um, we're very accepting and caring school and it just works. Having had the STEM program at Hayden Park for the last eight weeks and seeing the enthusiasm and just how these girls have just been enlightened and it's a matter of necessity for it to keep going. You know, these girls have had difficulty with math, difficulty with science. When I see a student say to me, having been at school since eight o'clock in the morning and it's five o'clock, saying, oh my, is it five o'clock already, miss? Because the time has flown so quickly because in what they're doing, they're so engaged and it's a very authentic learning. It makes sense, it's practical. They can see how it's um, really applied to everyday life and what they see all around them. You know, and the math and science confused into just a way of being of life. It's just, it's just great to see you know, and have the girls endorse this. I wish I could offer it to more girls, you know, and I wish I could offer this next year. My biggest fear is it takes a lot of resources and I don't know how unless I have a philanthropist like yourself, someone very generous who, you know, is prepared to give up the resources. I mean, I can get the staff to give up their time. It's great to have someone to give up their time as well because I'm seeing the benefits. And if a student with a learning disability um, and math is in this STEM club and they are succeeding, they are understanding and it's also um, solidifying some of their, the, what they're learning in their curriculum. I mean, that's a, that's a beautiful thing. Uh, math, it's very confusing, like, because there's so much letters and numbers, so it's like all jammed up, I guess, and it gets me real confused, because I'm not used to that kind of math. It was really easy before, but now, it's like, you guys are putting, like, X's and Y's and stuff into it, so it's, like, very... Hard. Um, in math, I like algebra because I like doing equations because I find that teachers a lot, they try and make you understand it in the way that they want to teach it to you, but that's the way that you're not understanding it. I like, like, visualize, like, when you, like, write something down, like, when I can see it in front of me, not like a piece of paper because I can't, like, if I just read it, I get really confused. I'm really interested in how everything works together. From the creation of the universe itself to everything that happened to this instant. But what I'd really like is a model of some sort to, sh to see how multiple electrons move in a three-dimensional space. Another challenge we face is, you know, sir, uh, what, what are we going to do with this? Why am I learning this? How does this apply to real life? I'll never need to know this. I mean, it's a very common and fair question at that, I'd add. Uh, with science, it's a little easier to make those connections. It sort of lends itself to it. Uh, with math, when we get a little more uh, into the abstract concepts or even just basic linear relations, st uh, students um, tend to uh, not be able to see the applications or, or, or the importance of these uh, topics. So. Uh, I mean, just having activities or um, hands-on uh, experiences that they uh, they can learn through uh, through physical work rather than just textbook and and, and paper pen stuff uh, really helps make those connections and see the applications um, beyond high school. I definitely like to make it more hands-on than we're already trying to do it. I think we do a pretty good job of trying to allow the kids to do things hands-on. Uh, but it'd be nice if we had more resources to allow them to do things much more hands-on with more current technology. But so much, so much that you can gain from being at Hayden Park when you start to give to a school like us. The girls who come here, um, 
they come with an array of uh, different issues and just needs. When you give to a clientele like this, the self-esteem, the real belief and the real confidence in, in the fact that they can be put into a challenge and attain that, yeah, and be successful. And for many of the girls here, success has not been a word associated with them that often. But the reward when you see a student successful, when they get it, when they walk across that stage, that is for an educator, for a teacher, that's the most rewarding. When you take a moment to reflect on how far these girls have come, and when you invest your time into them, because that's the biggest thing, when you can invest your time and your resources into these girls, good things happen and you see it. For me as an educator, I wouldn't be in any other profession because what I get intrinsically from seeing the success of my students, um, no money, no other paying job could give you that what I feel.